very good. Oh, look at that. What were y'all just doing? Now let's everybody try it. Great job, Andy. All right. Miss Scott, do you want to come pray us in? Everybody bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for everything you've given us, and thank you for this day. Please help all the people who are sick and hurt. Thank you for everything we don't deserve. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, let's stand up. all the love I found nothing can compare to my love for you I'm captivated by the wonder of your love and the wonder of this truth that nothing and no one can ever take your place. Jesus, you're all I need. Jesus, you're all I need. My heart is all I have to bring. Take my life, take all of me. I surrender all to thee. Jesus, you're all I need. My heart is all I have to bring. Take my life, take all of me. I surrender all to thee. Of all the love I found, nothing can compare to my love for you. I'm captivated by the wonder of your love and the wonder of this truth that nothing and no one can ever take your place. Jesus, you're all I need. My heart is all I have to bring. Jesus, you're all I need. My heart is all I have to bring. Take my life, take all of me. I surrender all to thee. Jesus, you're all I need. One more time, guys. Jesus, you're all I need. My heart is all I have to bring. Take my life, take all of me. I surrender all to thee. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was a lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me. And like a flood, 
His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised good to me, His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Sing it out loud, guys. My chains are My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. Now we're going to try something. Just 3K through second grade, sing it, okay? Here we go. My chains are gone. I've been set free, my God, my has ransomed me. Unending love, amazing grace. All right, third grade through fifth grade, join them. My chains are... My God, my And like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. And like a flood, his mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. Great job, guys. Y'all can be seated. Okay, so today, I want to talk to y'all about something. I've been talking to my upper school which is middle school and high school, the big kids. We've been talking about a lot of things in our Bible classes, okay? But the most important thing that we've been talking about is keeping God first, okay? Now, how many of you have really busy lives? Raise your hand. We all do, right? We all play sports. We all go to school. Teachers give us a lot of homework. Keeps us busy all the time. Guys, are those things important? Yes, you better say yes, your teacher's sitting beside you. So, yes, those things are important. Now, how many of y'all, I'm even talking to the little ones, how many of y'all talk to God on a daily basis? How many of y'all say your prayers at night before you lay down? I remember when I was a little kid, my mama used to come in and she'd say, okay, it's prayer time. And we both get kneel down by the bed and we would pray together. How many of y'all pray with your parents? That's pretty awesome, guys. That is awesome. Not many people can say that. So we've established that we talk to God on a daily basis. But is he the most important thing? Is he what... Is he the one we're thinking about when we wake up in the morning and before we go to sleep at night? And adults, I'm talking to you too today. This, this applies to everybody, guys. When we wake up in the morning, do we think, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to work. I'm tired. I'm worn out. Or do we think, thank you, Lord, for another day that I could get up out of bed and breathe? Now, boys and girls, I'm talking to you. When you wake up in the morning, you have to think, thank you, Lord, for giving me this beautiful day. Okay? So let's all try to just say thank you, Jesus, together real quick. One, two, three, go. 
That's awesome. You see how easy that is? So let's say I'm laying down in bed. My alarm clock goes off. Now, I don't have one of those really quiet alarm clocks. My alarm clock sounds like this. Bonk, 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 bonk. That's what it sounds like in the mornings. It gets me up whether I want to get up or not. So I'm laying in bed, and I hear, bah, 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 bah. Now, what's the first thing I'm going to say? Thank you, Jesus. Now, do I say that every morning? I try to. So, guys, we're going to talk about putting other things in our lives today. And in Exodus 20, can anybody, talk, talking over here, can anybody tell me what Exodus 20 is about? Anybody? Nobody? What is it about, Ms. Owen? The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. That's absolutely correct. Now, guys, we're talking about putting other things in our lives today. You see, in the Ten Commandments, does anybody know the first commandment? Raise your hand. Um, up here. Let's go up here. What is the first commandment? Genesis. That's the first book. What's the first commandment? No other gods. That's right. No other gods. Good job. So, so, no other gods before me. Now, do you think it was on accident that this was the very first commandment? I don't think so either. So now, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now let's talk about what gods are. What is a god? Elizabeth, what is a god? That's awesome. You just blew my mind right here. Just blew my mind. So... She said a God is something you worship. It could be the Christian God. It could be other things in our lives that we've learned about, like Romans or Greeks or things that we think matter. But don't. There's only one God. Elizabeth. Okay. So, what else is a God? Can anybody tell me another God? Jesus. Jesus is God. Very good. All right. Right here. What's another God? Okay, she says something that someone worships if they don't believe in God or don't make time for him. Now, let me name you some gods. Everybody put your hands down. I'm going to tell you what some gods are. Xbox. Ooh. MacBooks, iPads. Mm. Those are all gods. You want me to tell you some other gods? Sports, baseball, basketball, football. I love every one of them. But those are gods in our lives. You want me to tell you some other gods? Music. Now, listen to me. How many of you go to church where they have really good music? I do. All right, now, listen to this. How many of you go to church because of the really good music? Put your hands down. The answer is I do not, Mr. Stephen. So, listen. You see, even though we're singing, sometimes we make it more about the song than who we're worshiping. We would rather sound pretty and people notice us and give God our all. So, we're going to do this today. Now, this pencil is going to represent God. This bottle is going to represent our life. So, we'll make this my life. This is Mr. Stevens' life, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you that God is at the center of my life. 
So let's put God in the center of my life. There he is. I've accepted God as my Lord and Savior. I am a Christian. I'm saved. Now, bug, come here. Come here. Yeah, everybody give her a big hand. Yeah, bug. Now, bug, I want you to open this bottle. Now, this is Mr. Stevens' life. God is at the center of it. Now, bug, don't make a mess, okay? Now, Mr. Steven got a brand new Xbox One for Christmas last year. He loves Fortnite. I said it. So, guys, up here. Now, shh, my hand's up. Now, guys, when I wake up in the morning, on Saturday morning, I didn't say, thank you, Jesus. I said, I want to go play Fortnite. So, Bug, oh, shh, shh. So, Bug, put Fortnite in my life. Okay, you can go sit down. All right, guys, can you see all of God now? Or is a little bit covered up? A little bit is covered up. Mm. Joshua, come here. All right, guys. So, Saturday is one of the greatest days of the week for me. Because I know Tennessee is going to lose when I turn the TV on. So, listen, listen, up here, guys, but I just can't help but watch. I know that I haven't done my Bible study for the day, and it's almost 2 o'clock, and Georgia, go dogs, are about to kick off. So, instead of doing my Bible study, open that, I'm going to watch the football game. Pour it in there, Joshua. This is the football game. Go sit down, Joshua. All right, now. Guys, can you see all of God? Good. Uh, let's see here. Come here, Peyton. Open that for me. Guys, it's Monday morning. I'm tired. I don't want to go to school, Mama. I don't want to go. You see, I used to cry every day till I was in ninth grade. I did not want to go to school. So, but I've got to go to school. So instead of reading my Bible... Instead of doing my devotion, instead of saying, thank you, Jesus, in the morning, I'm going to put another God in here and say, I've got to pick out what clothes I want to wear so I look good for my friends. Oh, I made a mess. So, guys, thank you, Peyton. You can go sit down. All right, guys, now. Thank you. Guys, is God shining through how he was at the beginning? Can you see God how he was at the beginning? Is God still there? You can see, Wait, who said I can see him a little? All right. They said, Mr. Stephen, I can see God a little, but I can't see all of him. No, guys, you get, you get the picture. I could name each and every God. That I put in my life. Till that bottle is full and you can no longer see God. Is God still in my life? Absolutely. But if I walk up 
Now, Caleb, I want you to hold this real still and real quiet. Now, Caleb, I want you to tell me, am I giving you all of God that I have? No. Why? It's covered up, isn't it? Very good. You see, guys, I'm trying to share God with people. But I can't share the God that I know in my life because I can only share half of what I know because I cannot be a light. Now, 3K, 3K, listen. 3K, if God is covered up, I cannot be a light to people. I cannot say, Jesus loves you and mean it all the way. We talked about Jesus loving people, didn't we? Being a light. So guys, I do not think it's circumstance that in Exodus 20, verse 3, the very first one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. You see, it not only affects our life, but it affects everyone around us. So, let's go back and revisit what we've learned, okay, so far. When you hear that alarm clock and you pop up out of bed, what are you going to say? Thank you, Jesus. Now, when you're coming home at the end of your day, now how many of y'all have some rough days? Right? We all have some rough days, right? Now, when you get home and you think, I've had a really terrible day. My friend was mean to me. People talked about me. Guys, how many of you thought that before? I have. Now, watch this. When you get home, 4K, when you get home and you feel like somebody was mean to you, all you have to do is say, thank you, Jesus, for loving me the way you made me. You see, guys, if you don't cover up God with everything else, you'll remember to thank him every day. You'll also remember how perfectly and wonderfully made each and every one of you are. Okay? Mr. Stephen believes in you. Miss Susan believes in you. Each of these teachers believe in you. We love you and we care about you. Okay? God made you perfectly the way you are, so you keep him first in your life, okay? All right, guys, let's bow our heads. Lord, we just want to say thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us. Lord, as we go throughout our day, let us not be distracted by all the things and all other gods in this world. Lord, in everything we do, let it belong to you. God, you can direct our feet and guide our path. You are a lamp unto our way. And Lord, as we go home this afternoon, let us remember to say thank you before we lay down tonight. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, we're going to be dismissed at this time, okay? So 4K and 5th grade can go. Thanks, guys. Y'all were great today.